yesterday, our undercover officer, Roly, was able to buy two baggies of cocaine. It's a positive two dimes. We were able to get a search warrant, so we're going back to the residence. It's a white Grand Am with doper rims that's here by a and Ten four. The one that has the eye says that they put something into the vehicle. It's like a rifle or something. So that puts us at a high alert now, knowing that these individuals will stop at nothing to protect their money or their drugs. So right now, it's just a sit and wait, and it's basically a cat and mouse. Put the camera down. The car took off from the target location. These guys are out there looking for us just as much as we're looking for them. I think they made one of our units, and we spooked them. So I think we've gotten burned and the vehicle's on the run now. A white uh, Pontiac Grand Am, 48 it. It might have control. We got a 1080, it's not 1080. That white one. OK, we got a 1080. We got a car chase. Take a break. Recording started. They just apprehended the guy. Subject ran, but they were able to detain him. Holy sh they fucked up the car. What's up, Lexi? <laughs> And also, it was a good chase. It was a good chase, partner. And this is the one that, that uh, this is the officer that led the, the chase. <laughs> there he is right there. The best thing about it is no one got hurt. Is there a rifle there? It looks like a, a Mini 14. As you can see, there's two large bundles inside the vehicle. Oh, my back. Uh, if I have to estimate, it's probably about 75 pounds. It's worth probably $75,000. Right now, what we're going to do is uh, take it to the police department, and then later on this month, burn it. <laughs> like I said, it was just a cat and mouse game, and the cat won today. <laughs> When a suspect flees, we automatically impound his vehicle. It's taken to an impound lot where it's more thoroughly searched. With all the movement this guy was making and the gun we found, uh, we just want to make sure there's nothing else in that vehicle. It was yeah. heading south. That's why they suspected it might have money instead of drugs, because it's going south. And there's something wrong with it. I mean, uh... the bolts have been tampered with and stuff like that, so. Yeah. And we're going to have to wait for these guys to take it apart and see what's in there. Where do you see those motions? Uh, right here, we put a scope, and you can tell there's something in here, in this area. Wow. That doesn't you uh, drop that? It doesn't look factory. So you're going to have to drop the whole thing? Oh, they got some work to do then. Yep. Alejandro, who's going to drop it? Who's going to drop it? This young man here is going to drop the transmission. What's in there? Nothing in there so far? I don't see anything from here. I wonder if I should put in the scope. They got part of the transmission off, so now they're scoping it. They're using the, the fiber optic scope to go through the hole there. Nah, I can't see it, man. Nah, not yet. He doesn't see anything right now. There it is. Your last chance. Show it to me. Show me the money, Felipe. If there's something inside there. What the heck? It doesn't belong there? No. Well, that's going to be the, can... the compartment. No.
What do you think I should have done? It looks wrong to us because we didn't, you know, that thing doesn't need to be in there. Here we go. Best compartment we've ever seen, and it's loaded. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Great. The money that was uh, located today, it looks like it's about $100,000 right now. 23, 24. They obviously been getting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in Mexico with just this one vehicle. The way this money was packaged and the sophistication in the compartment, uh, we know this is a cartel-related vehicle. Uh, no regular Joe Blow is going to go through all this to, to hide their money. So we know we're on to something. 